Hello, welcome back to Coding Casually and today what we would be doing is we'll be creating an API using Python Flask and we would be storing the data in MongoDB. So I already have MongoDB installed on my system and you can also see that I have Postman as well uh, to check whether the API is working fine or not. So this is the uh, place where we would be hosting it because this is the default Flask um, destination so we'll run our code and let's see how it works and after that we would be hoping on to or we would be hopping on to the coding part of it so uh, this is the push uh, we have basically made a CRUD operation we'll be pushing data we would be inserting we would be basically we would be updating deleting and then pulling the data out as well so right now Paul doesn't exist in the uh, system so the moment we'll do this it says push initiated and let's see whether it has come up or not and you would see that it has indeed similarly we have the delete operation as well uh, we have the update operation as well we have the details pull operation as well so come on uh, let's start the coding from the fresh and let's see how this uh, whole program turns out to be all right so we are back on our visual studio code and i already have made a file called rest uh, api.sol and we will convert it into a python file and we would state the same so i'm sure that you already have installed i mean you already have visual studio code installed on your system along with uh, mongodb along with pymongo because that would be the module that we would be using to insert data in the database okay so let's start with the coding so it's quite simple for this one we'll write import by mongo because that is something that we need if you don't see it you write it more and you'll get it so from flask we would be importing flask and we would be uh, copying and pasting the same and then uh, go back here and write the request that we need uh, we would write request we would be writing JSONify because that is how we would be pushing the data out if you are making a web app you would need flask course uh, you can also do that as well uh, maybe you wish to convert the same into a web application so that would work for you so now going ahead uh, we would be connecting to the database which is right now there and we would be writing my client by Mongo so PyMongo is a module that we would be using to connect to the Mongo database and then we would write Mongo client. And where is the address? Uh, it's very easy. Uh, either you can go into MongoDB to get that address by simply going into new connection and then another one will open up. You can simply copy and paste it from here. And then you can paste it here and that will be done. Now what you need to do is, uh, now you are connected to the main database, now you need to connect to the cluster, so you can write my client, that would be used, uh, which is this one, and then you would like to connect to my database, which is this one, and then what you can do is, which table you wish to, uh, basically now you have connected, this was the client you have connected to, this is the database you are connected to, now you need to connect to cluster, so you can write mycul and then you can write mydb which is something that you already declared and we would be pushing the data in customers. This is how you connect to a MongoDB and now what you would be doing is you would be creating a Flask app, simple, uh, what we would be doing is name is something that we need and this is how you create an app. For course you can also make CORS and then push in your app in it. Uh, now you need to also send um, the headers as well for course application if you are going ahead with the web application. So you can write course underscore headers that would be fine and then you can give it something like content type which is very important so content type you have to write here and you are done with it so now what you need to do here is you need to specify a route through which people would be able to approach your um, API so what you need to do here is you need to write app dot route and then you need to write the route that you are trying to make so this is how we would be pushing the details in 
so this is push insert something like that you wish to write it that's your up, up to your uh, means you can write methods so you need to define the methods that you would be uh, letting people so post is something that we are interested in and then not needed here but you can write get as well um, then we can copy and paste it, that is why and then define push and then right now we would not be writing anything so we are writing print just just this and now what we can do is we can copy paste paste and paste these are the three routes that we would be using push is something that we have declared we would be updating and we would be deleting and then we would be pulling the details out right so this is how the api will be defined and then at the end what you can do is you can write uh, in order to make sure that your app runs you can write this which i don't need to explain if you need to understand this why i'm writing this please push in a comment and i'll let you know okay and we would be writing app dot run and then the app will start to run. now we would need to define the push method uh, in order to define the push method you need not have to worry about anything we would be consuming data through json so we would write content equals to request dot get json so anything which uh, comes to us as json will consume it and then we would be pushing that into our database so we will write insert one and then we would be writing content so whole content we will be pushing in okay and we can copy here uh, with this basically and then paste it over here get the alignment done and then of course we would need this but for update what we need to do is we need to set the values that we need to update so we can write my value and then we can write uh, set uh, sorry set and then another thing that we need to do is and what we need to do is uh, what we need to set here is we need to set score so we would be setting the score and then we would be writing content uh, which we have pulled and in content we would need score uh, value or uh, basically the value of score key so we would be writing score here and then uh, this is done this is done and yeah and probably it's all done well now what you need to do is you need to write instead of insert one you need to write update one and then through update what you need to do is you need to update uh, what we need to update something which has the name in what we are presenting so we are saying content uh, you can also copy it from here so update one and then you can write what we need to update so content and then name is something that we need to update and then we need to update it by my val and then you can close the curly braces which would be here so this is how update uh, query will work we would push in the name of the person that we want the score to be updated along with this code that we would want to update and done so similarly we will copy again uh, which is content and my val sorry content is something that we would need not delete right now so content is of course we need and then uh, this is a delete one what we would be doing here is we would be writing my cull dot delete one and what we need to delete is the same thing altogether you can if you wish to you can copy uh, this and then paste it over here instead of my value you just remove my value from here and then in delete query uh, you need to write the name only which is needed and thus the job is done so basically we'll be pushing the name of the person that we wish to delete and it will delete it for us now what we need to do is we need to pull the details uh, so what we can do is again we would need it because through json we would be accepting parameters and then we would be defining a list that can be a query list and then that can be empty 
all right so now what you need to do here is uh, we already have the content with us no with us no problem at all on that part and we need to find stuff in the uh, database basically the the table that we are trying to push in so uh, what we can do is we can write a pull um, pull data and then we can write my cull dot find and then what we need to find here is we need to find name and always remember this has to be in the quotes and then from where you'll get that name from content and then this is how you will be able to find the name of the d basically what we need to find here so now i can write for i in pulled data and then we can add view query basically that was a list and append it with the things like name which we would be getting from i and then we can write name here and then what we can do here is we can also write score and then we can write i and then score in it all right so remember these things have to be in quotes and so that you would be able to cull that information out as well and now at the end what needs to be done here is we need to close this uh, because we opened it from here so this is how you will be able to pull the details out but now you have to return it as well so what you can do is you can return uh, jsonify and then you carry so this is how you do it but now we have to fix the name of the functions here so push seems to be fine we'll do update we'll do delete and we'll do pull so this is how things will work and let's see whether it works or not uh, let's see and let's let's basically run it uh, at the moment we'll press f5 and let's see whether it runs well or not so uh, let me just pull this thing up and start this python file and you can see that it has started i guess or we have made some issue okay so we have made a mistake here we can write m main so and i'm sure that it'll start it has started indeed so now let's see um, whether we already have details in it so let's try pull first uh, we'll pull details and then we would not write this and let's see whether it gives us the details or not and it says that it, it there's a spelling issue or something like that so of course it says pulling instead of pull and you can see that it has pulled the details for us let's insert a record in it and check whether it works for us or not and how we can uh, insert a record simple we would write push and then we can write a b c or a b c here and then through score what we can write here is um, 88 uh, let me just put this thing in the quotes and let's see whether it um, sends the data or not again i have made a spelling mistake let's do this and check uh, okay so it has encountered an issue because let's see what is a uh, problem in this one it says push did not return a valid response because we did not return anything so we can return push initiated that is needed so why i'm doing so much spelling mistakes i don't understand okay and then we can copy this because something needs to be returned from the function and then we can write delete so this is delete and this is update and now let's see whether it works or not we'll cancel it out run this once again and by going back let's send the data and check push initiated and let's see whether it is there in our database or not and you'll see ABC has arrived. Similarly, you can use these functions as well. You can delete stuff. So suppose if you would uh, remove from here and then instead of this, you can write delete. 
and you will see delete has been initiated so basically you would not find ABC anymore and it is still there and let's see why it is still there mm -hmm. okay we need to okay sorry restart again and let's see by going into collection and do a reload so ABC still sits with the 88 score and so that means the one that we are sending the delete one for it is not deleting stuff and it has all the options that we would want it to be let's delete once again and let's see whether it deletes or not and it has indeed deleted and let's check whether it has or not it has so delete is now gone similarly update function would also work for you you just need to provide a new score altogether and if you want me to try that for you we will do that we will write update and we would want let's see whom do we have we have Ramesh here so let's change Ramesh and then give a score of of 10 and then if we do this it says update initiated so right now Ramesh has 50 and let's see now it has 10 so this is how you create an API using uh, Python and Flask and we have used MongoDB you can use a different uh, database altogether no issues we have used Postman to check the details so it's not uh, I mean it's not apparent that you would use the same application or software to test the APIs you can use something of your own or rather you can use the web browser as well it will give you the details you just need to change the return statements to state the fact that it has indeed done the job for you all right if you have any ambiguity you can just uh, put a comment on the video and I'm sure that we'll be able to solve it we can also make videos that you would want us to make so please do that uh, and along with that do subscribe to the channel that helps us and keeps us motivated to make more videos thank you